Hey everybody, my name is Christopher Odd, and uh, we are playing with some more XCOM here. Uh, quickly, just some base management. There's not much to do. Uh, <laughs> we need to basically wait for this uplink. That's going to be absolutely crucial. We need that to like to start happening. I have one dollar. Uh, if you take a look at our stuff, we can sell. We can sell quite a bit. So. Um, that's pretty nice, at least. We can get a little bit of coin. We've got 98 alien alloys. That's really cool because they're two bucks each. Um, so let's check into what we need to uh, buy. Let's just check it out. We need. We got the officer training school going. Uh, I am going to excavate this. I'm going to get another access lift going so that we can get towards that steam. And before you know it, we are out of cash again. Now, let's go back to our items. There's nothing really in here that we, like, really need uh, at this point. Uplink targeting and aim, I mean, it's cheap. We've got two ships, I think. So let's get, well, I'd like to get two. Let's actually see how many ships we have. We've got two for our two satellites. Um, we're probably gonna start getting some bigger UFOs, so I should start ordering more of these things They're 40 bucks It's expensive right now. We are living on a budget people So uh, for now, we'll just get one and we'll put it on our active. I Think it actually auto assigns if I'm not mistaken a specific jet within the hangar. You can choose to modify its current weapon loadout to best serve our needs yeah, so the thing that we just bought, that's going to be automatically on there. Uh, I'm not sure if I need to buy one for each ship. I think I do, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, let's go to Mission Control and see what's happening. Hopefully we can uh, get to the satellite uplink here on this first go, but we'll see what happens. Oh! <laughs> Alright, literally, like, Commander, not even a second. reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Well, look at this. I mean, we don't really have an option here. We've got one place, pretty high panic, and we still need engineers. So we're going to go here to... Oh, my God. I butchered Lille. Apparently, it's Lille, France. This one is uh, Bloemfontein. I don't know if that's right. Anybody from South Africa confirm? That would be great. <laughs> All right. So let's go in and quickly check out our units. We've got to change uh, Abern's name to Sergeant. I realized that last time. Linus is still a Sergeant. Repcam still a Sergeant. And here we go. Let's change this one as well. Toolbox. Sergeant. And Grelite. Sergeant. Awesome. Quick overview of the abilities. Uh, he's got damn good ground and squad sight. We've got the sprint and field medic over here. Same two for rep cam. Abrin has bullet swarm and suppression, so she can shoot first and not have the turn end, which is going to be real handy. And uh, Linus has Tactical Sense, which is the defense and lightning reflexes. So he's our front man. He is the guy that needs to be running and dodging as much as we can. Now, one thing that I'm thinking, just as I'm doing this here, um, I would like to get an alien containment facility happening. That's what I would really like. Five power. I don't even have enough power. Jeez. And eighty-five dollars. So I I really got to get more power going here. And what do I need for power? Sixty bucks. Okay, we got to make that happen. Because if we don't, we're gonna be in a tough spot, man. Come on, alloys. We are just like living by the skin of our teeth right now. And for those that don't know what that means, it means. Not well. <laughs> not a lot. Think about it. There's not a lot of skin on your teeth. Living by the skin of your teeth means you don't have a lot. You get it? Okay, whatever. You get it. 
All right, here we go. South Africa, Bloemfontein. That's probably way off. We got a solid squad here. Let's just actually check what other options. We've got uh, Loco, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, he does have the squad site. So maybe what we do, since Grelite was here last time, it, we, we don't really want anyone to get lost in the winds, but this is going to be a difficult mission. So you know what? I am going to keep him. We're going to go with our best crew right now. And uh, no more thinking about it. More doing. Wait, do I want two med kits? That could be very crucial in something like this. Nah, you know what? We're good. Let's rock and roll. Dropship has arrived. We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. One criticism that I do have about XCOM, and it's not a big deal, but I wish that before these missions here, that they would give more, like, kind of come up with more of a story of what's going on there. I mean, I guess how much can you say aliens are coming? Holy shit. Um, this is Operation Hot Pipe in Bloemfontein, South Africa. <laughs> Hot Pipe, really? Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Alright, well... What better way to start the running as far as possible? Still clear. That's a good sign. So, Abrin, let's get you moved up. Enemy oh, shit. Well, that's, that's definitely uh, one way of doing things. I'm not really liking that very much. I've got a 49% chance to hit. That's not great. And I'm in the open, which is worse. I'm going to retreat. I may actually even... Oh, shit. I've not retreated far enough. Oh, this is, this is trouble right off the bat. Now, for whatever reason... Um... Grelite is pretty well hidden until this guy decides to pull something tricky. So we're going to go into Overwatch, and hopefully that keeps that guy back there. That's kind of my thought process on it. I could run and gun with Linus right off the bat. But I really can't afford to do that. It's too risky. I can't believe we're already in a freaking pickle here. Okay, Linus, behind this car. Repcam, come back. We're going to keep you guys in the open, but we're going to overwatch everybody so that Roger, in the event covered. something crazy happens. Okay, here we go. Just a couple... Oh, okay, well... Yeah. Great, uh, yeah, so that's probably not great. Someone's dead here. Holy shit. Hope Toolbox didn't have the med supplies. Oh, good. Okay. Stabilize that person. We're gonna lose him. A person's, like, Toolbox is down for the mission, but... What are we gonna do? I mean, we don't really have a choice. At least they won't bleed out. But the toolbox has become completely useless at this point. Now, here is where Abrin's ability comes in pretty handy. I can take one of these 69% shots, which I'm going to do. And then I can suppress. So, ideally, I take one down and suppress the other. But, I mean, the odds of that happening are pretty slim. We're going to go for the person in the back. Person giving it too much credit. Actually, you know what? Pfft. Let's just play it safe. Let's play it really safe and uh, take these guys down with the rocket. Good night. 
You guys have done enough damage. Oh, he's got blown the shit up. <laughs> that was, no, I like that. I like that. Okay, Grella, you can now go into Overwatch at the end of this turn, which makes me a happy camper. That's all we got right now, eh? All right, well, Linus, do some damage, please, with your pistol. So we're we are back down to a, uh, a four-man squad because of uh, toolbox here. So, I mean, not necessarily your fault. We totally got ambushed, hoodwinked, if you will. And uh, what are you gonna do? It happens. Linus, move up. We're gonna try to edge our way along here and hopefully uh, put us in a position to use Grellite's uh, squ squad sight ability. One step at a time. Thanks for all the feedback, by the way, in the previous um, kind of new format thing that I tried. Uh, it was out of necessity. Uh oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. You guys hide. Minus you two, because you don't stand a chance against these guys. 56%? Eh, that's not bad, but it's not great. So, uh, I took the feedback and I appreciate it. The reason I had to do that was out of necessity because my recording uh, was all... Uh, my, I was clipping, so if you guys don't know what that is, basically my microphone was too loud. And, uh, I mean, that shit happens. But, I, I didn't want to just, like, you can't re-record in Iron Man. I couldn't, like, reload a save or anything, so... Um, I mean, that was the only option I had. I had some fun with it, but, uh, I'm glad that you guys decided overall as a group that you like this method better because it's actually easier for me, and, uh, I actually kind of enjoy thinking my thoughts out loud, if that makes sense. We're gonna move these guys on the other side of this car. Have a little bit more protection from the Thin Men. And hopefully we can draw them out here and take a couple of nice shots. And no. No, we cannot. Linus, are you able to get... See, the thing is, I'm worried about them going into Overwatch now. There we go. Grelite, can you see that? Is that car in the way? Seriously? Damn. Okay, we're going to have to move you then. No, not this turn, but we're going to try to get you in a better position next turn, that's for sure. 36%. Mm, nope. And how close can we get here? Yeah, okay. We'll take baby steps. I'm okay with this. Everybody into Overwatch except for Linus. I want you to fall back. Hopefully we draw him out. Oh, you don't say it. There's aliens up there? No shit. There we go. Take him down. Shit. Come on, Grelite. Oh! <laughs> yep. I love it. Sorry. I was feeling that one. Grelite, you're the man. All right, Repcam. It's your turn to lead the rush. Oh, of course. All right, well, I'm actually, I'm not too fussed about him being back there. Um, you can just, you can just come back, as far as I'm concerned. We'll move Linus up a little bit. I'm not sure if you have an angle when they pop out from there, but we'll find out very shortly. I'd like to move up, but I just don't want to put these guys in a compromising position to even take a shot. So we're gonna we're gonna play conservative again, and hopefully draw them out. I like to use the tease technique. What the shit is this? Why can I see him? 
Oh, well, I don't mind. 71% Grelite, you got this, bro. After that power shot last time, this is a kill shot. Poof! Oh! You make me real proud. Real proud. Alright, it's time. We gotta get Abrin going because she's got this, such a good ability, we gotta start using it. Repcam, go up and protect her. Linus, quit being a wiener. Get up to the rusty car. Hope you don't get the tet. And... We're still good. We're still good here. Linus, do you dare go around this side? Do you? I like it. Ballsy. Ballsy. To the front. And, uh, Gypsy, a.k.a. Repcam, move up to the rust. Now, we're probably going to have to move Grelite um, in a little bit here. Because it looks like we got a transition. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Abrin. Yeah, just like freak him out a little bit. That's I know you. That was your intention, and you uh, definitely delivered on that. So, congratulations. There you go, Reppy. <laughs> we're just we're just employing scare tactics right now. I don't want you guys actually killing anything. So try not to hit them. See, Linus listened. You guys are fantastic. Okay, now what? Now, I could use run and gun and take this guy out. Problem is, if I'd use that, I'm probably gonna uncover, you know, a ton of other people. I, I don't know why I call them people all the time, you know what I mean. But one handy little grenade could also do the trick. Now if I move up here, I'm blocked by that truck, but if he pops around here, then I'm flanked. So what I could do, is I could probably suppress this guy after I try to shoot him, so that he can't move. And that way, Linus will be safe from up here. So that's uh, exactly what I'm going to do. That's better. 36%. We will definitely take the for sure... The for sure kill. Sleep. Right, B Hotch. Now, what? How do you have a beat on this guy all of a sudden? Doesn't matter. We're gonna take it. Yep. Go for it, Grelite. Can you do three in a row? Ah, shit. <laughs> it was a lot to ask. I understand. I do. I do. And before we decide what to do with. Oh, see? Shit. We're gonna have a problem here. Because we're going to be out of bullets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well. What I can do. Do we have a kill with Repcam yet? I don't think so. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get a kill. Just by. Shooting. And then we'll go into Overwatch if we have to. Do I have any better cover though? This kind of sucks. And again, I I forgot to switch it back, but I figured out what the bug was. Is if you have updated drivers and you're running an SLI, uh, it will not show the shields. So if you guys are watching me, like where the shit are your shields? It's because I got to turn off SLI mode uh, to play this game and get the shields or downgrade to an older driver. But um, yeah, sorry about that. I mean, I have a pretty good idea now of what's full cover and what's not, so... I mean, there's that. Alright, you know what? You know what? Let's take the shot. If not, we'll go over and we'll grenade him with Repcam. Okay, so... I mean, at least we had a backup plan, right? Kind of. Oh, that's... Oh, I just realized I don't have grenades with her! Damn it! <laughs> okay, now I got a real choice because that sectoid could flank Linus, uh, which I do not like. Ah, oh, that was a terrible, 
terrible decision. Can I reach with this one? Not even close. Oh, I'm disappointed in myself. Very disappointed in myself. That was a terrible decision. I could pay for it. Sectoids aren't the strongest, though. So there's that aspect. I'm going to go into Overwatch so that he won't move. And hopefully, uh, he doesn't hit me. So that's going to be our tactic here. Um, damn. Yeah, that's what I got to do. And we're going to we're gonna reload Abrin. If he shoots at Abrin, I'm sorry. Aha! We got lucky. We got very, very, very lucky. He was, he was confused, didn't know what to do. Don't worry. We'll help you figure it out. 50%. Yeah, I don't like that. I like a sure thing. So you can take this grenade, shove right up your alien poop hole, and blammo. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen the doors fly off like that. And, as usual, we are not done. We gotta get... We gotta get Grillite more in the mix here. Uh, preferably on top of that truck to use his damn good ground ability. So we're gonna just move up everybody cautiously. I've got a visual. Shit. Ah, that always happens. As much as you can, you want to resist moving into a new space at the end of a turn. Luckily, these guys are out of sight, so we can just overwatch, but, um, I mean, yeah. As much as you can. Let's bust out your shotgun, because if they do, if you do see them, they're gonna be close, so. Everybody hold your pants! Let's go, Repcam! Okay, well... We're gonna need to do some fine-tuning on your weapons when we get back to the base, that's for damn sure. Everybody keep your heads down. Oh, shit! Alright, well, we got a flank shot here, so we pretty much have to take that like it's a written rule. Let's go for it. There we go, kill cam! I like it. Earn a promotion too. You're welcome. All right. Um, I think what I want to do is get in a position where I can suppress this guy. But I don't really have a lot of good options to, to do that. If I go behind this car, I should be okay. Like, but I don't know if... Mm. Wait, here's what we're going to do. I didn't see him go on Overwatch, so what I'm going to actually do is have Linus uh, move over to full cover behind this truck again. Or, how confident am I that there's no more guys? Not really. <laughs> Not really confident. Well, look at it this way. We're going to play cautious, okay? We move Linus over to the truck. He's got a 36% chance to hit. How much with your pistol? 76%. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I guess you opted for the other 24% uh, there, so that's a little bit of a letdown, I gotta say. Now, did you have a did you have a shot from here? I'm sure you did. You don't. Damn it. All right. Well, we can Overwatch at least. And Grellite. Well, you know damn right we're Overwatching you. Okay, everybody. Stay. T oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Oh, that's. Oh, Grellite MVP, baby. I like that. Sorry, I'm very excited. Awesome. We didn't lose anybody, but it was like we almost lost Toolbox there right at the start during the ambush. But I think we handled it pretty well, actually. I think. Let's go back and dish out some promotions. What? How the shit did everyone go crazy in Mexico? 
I guess because they had four before. We need that uplink, like, now. We need that uplink. So one thing I'm going to do a little bit differently, uh, just a slight change, is that uh, I'm going to do all my base management after the mission so that when the next video starts, it's, you start right with a mission. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that here right away. Uh, Repcam, you've got a promotion. You are now a lieutenant. That is fantastic. Thank you for for joining us. Allows medikits to revive critically wounded soldiers at 33% of maximum health instead of just stabilizing them. So last mission, that actually would have come in extremely handy. Um, whoops. Rifle suppression, fire barrage, so it's just suppressing, but with her rifle, and that is super powerful. I know you guys haven't seen me get to suppressing enemies yet, but if you've played XCOM, you know. I, I, I think I gotta go suppression. You just have more control over what happens. There's too many times where you get one hit killed anyways. People don't go down critically very often. And Linus, also a lieutenant. We've got flush. Fire a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot's easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. I like that. Rapid fire. Take two shots against a single target in a quick succession. Each shot carries a minus 15 to aim. Ooh, that's interesting. You know what? I, I'm i actually going to choose flush. Because here's my thought process, right? You've got a guy behind heavy cover. You're pissed about it. And you're like, I don't want you behind heavy cover. Flush him out. That's, that's my logic there. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. So, Linus and Repcam got upgraded. Or upgraded. You know what I mean. Promoted. Can build laboratories now, which is cool. Increases research speed. Get a cub in handy. Be in touch, Commander. So Linus, you are now Lieutenant. Congratulations, my friend. Well earned as well, I gotta say. How many kills do you have? Twelve on five missions? Pretty good. Pretty good. Repcam was an import. Um we got her from uh, a mission. A little while back but um, I would say a, a pretty good pretty good addition at this point no complaints three kills three missions pretty consistent oh it shows all the abilities right there I didn't even notice how's that very cool and uh, toolbox gravely wounded I'm sorry about that but uh, you know what at least you're alive there's always that aspect which is pretty cool so now any base management here let's take a look I don't have any money, but I'm gonna have to sell some stuff. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Power in five days, and then we can get to Steam very soon. We got a lot of things happening in five days, um, but we can't really do anything until we get more power anyway. So. Though I do not always agree with Doctor Shen. He has a point in this case. Now that we have the potential to capture an alien subject alive. We do need to construct a containment facility before we attempt to bring one in. See, that's that is true. I do need to build a containment facility, but so I need the power, I need the money. Uh, that's going to be my next goal. But uh, let's start spinning here and let's see what happens. Here we go. Come on, five days. Okay. Look, site up is back. That's awesome. Assign new construction. Sure, let's just take a look. The access lift is done. Oh, we got it. We're going to hit that seam. We're going to hit it hard. Uh, that's going to provide us a lot of power, which is pretty gnarly. Come on, power generator. Let's get to the uplink. There we go. Carry on. Come on. We're so close. Uplink. Woohoo! All right, <laughs> I'm way too excited to play in this game. I freaking love this. All right, yeah, cool. That's our new satellite uplink. Great. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, now we've got satellites. Facilities at maximum capacity. And look at that. We've got three satellites to launch. How huge is that right now? That's huge for a couple of reasons. First of all. Because if we wanted to get a continent bonus right now, we could. We could take all of uh, North America here 
and get a nice, nice bonus. But then we leave Nigeria out in the cold, who will probably leave if we do that. So what I'm going to do, first of all, obviously, we're going to go to Mexico, even though it's 50 bucks. Emerson, we want to try to keep everybody. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Okay. So let's go to Mexico. Reduce the panic. We do need to get an interceptor there as well. Nigeria, you're next. I'm just, I'm all about, you know, I'm all about saving the world, man. I'm all about saving the world. Satellite launched. So we need two interceptors. That's for damn sure. Now, I'd like to launch another satellite, but here's my thought process. I think I'm going to save it to see who increases in panic uh, next. And if they do that, then I'll launch a satellite right away so we can save them. Um, but I do want to start another uplink as well. So, last thing we'll do. Let's go back here. Remember, we want two things. We've got power now, which is nice. But we need to build a alien containment facility. We need to build an uplink. But we Oh, we don't even have enough engineers, so that's not going to happen. Uh, what else? Thermo generator, 200 bucks for the steam. Look at how much power it builds, though. Whew. That's that pretty much sets us up for like a long time. So I need 85 bucks. And what else? I guess that's it for right now. Well, you know what? Let's get another satellite going. Because they take for freaking ever. So I need about 100. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna sell a bunch of stuff. Okay, we've got tons of alloys. Whatever. Let's just sell it off. Illyrium. I know. I know. I know. I haven't researched it. And because I like round numbers, I'm gonna drop all this stuff to five. And. There we go. Woo. I'm just... It's risky. It's risky, but it's got to happen. So do I start the excavation? Ooh. Tough questions. Okay, let's build something way out here, like the alien containment. That's going to take up five power. What was the other thing I said I wanted to build? Oh, right, a satellite. We're going to get another satellite going. Commander, our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. Yeah, yeah, we I know. build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. I know. And then uh, we'll see what happens in the next little go here. Okay. Well. Oh, that's what I needed to do. I need to build more ships. Not good. Let's launch the jet. We're in pursuit. We've got the aim thing, so if he starts missing, I'm locking in the aim right away. That's a hit. Nice. Nice. Light damage? Holy, things are just kind of going our way right now. So, we're going to send the Sky Ranger in. Who do we got? We got everybody back. Same squad as last time. Oh, we got we got Loco here. Right, that's true. Um, what do we want to do here? I don't mean to keep, like, leaving Loco out of it. That's the thing. I kind of want Loco in there, but Grelite is so powerful now. Okay, you know what? Loco, you're coming. Grelite, you're just going to take a seat for a bit. we got to spread it around. Uh, what I'm looking for is your scope. I'm going to need that for Loco. You do have squad sight at least, so that's nice. And we're going to bring along a rookie. 
Uh, Sight up came last time, so we're gonna bring GKKIUX. And uh, I would love to know how to pronounce this correctly, but he says that there is no pronunciation. So, Jakux. That's where we're going with. Or G. We just call him G. How about that? Welcome to the squad. Let's, uh. <laughs> Look at you, man. Jesus. Um. One thing I do feel that we need for you before we head out is we need we need this vest. 13 bucks. I think I can do that. It's going to mess with my whole like my whole round numbers thing, but it's fine. Anything for you. How about that? GKKIUX, you are in the game. Where is it? Oh, I didn't buy it. <laughs> Get your shit together. Nanofiber vest. Rookies are so vulnerable. You take one shot and you're screwed. Okay, so... This is going to be our squad. Uh, we've got Loco, Linus, Repcam, Abrin, and G. So when we come back next time, you'll see us head out to the UFO, see what kind of trouble we could in get into, and uh, hopefully everybody makes it back alive. I'm a little bit nervous about the rookie, but what are you going to do? you got to get your feet wet. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.